I got in five star by, well, it was kind of shocking. I went to school and I was walking back from gym and Seth and Casey were right there and they were talking to me about it and asked me if I turned in my slip and I told them no and they made me turn it in and they came and found me last period and told me to come to five star that night. Me before five star I was kind of a wild child. I kind of used to make fun of people and I felt like I was better than everyone else I guess and then when I figured out about five star I thought maybe it would be a good chance to change who I am and for the better. When I realized I needed to treat people different I I just I noticed people more after Five Star was talking to me about people and how some people out there people don't even notice and I went to school and I noticed a lot of kids I've never like even seen before and people that I realized did need a friend and now I talk to everybody I'm a mingler and talk to about everybody at school now. I think it's easy to get sucked into people's bubbles, I guess you would say, and them like tell you that you're not going to be my friend if you don't treat these people this way. That's how they kind of put it. But then there's other people out there that when you become friends with them, they teach you that you need to be nice to people. And if you get sucked into the cool bubble, I guess you would say, then people are always mean to people and it's not right. I have had a lot of people treat me like I was nothing and stuff. Because I joined Five Star, everybody made fun of me for it and I told them that they don't know what they're missing because the way they treat people and now in high school people, the people that were popular at junior high get made fun of because of that and I tell them that it's not right and that everybody should be treated equally. In Five Star we did this paper and it was our values that we had to do and one of my things was to make a new friend that I never noticed before and I went to school the next day and there was a kid there that got made fun of so much and I just now like realized that people made fun of him as much as they did and I stood up for him. I kind of told him that they wouldn't like it if somebody treated them like that so I wouldn't treat him like that because someday you're going to need somebody there and I bet you they'll be the first one to help you. When I first stood up for him it was nerve-wracking because I didn't know what the people would think about think of me as being friends with them and standing up for them. They kind of made fun of me for it, but I told them that there's no point because it was the right thing to do and there isn't a need to make fun of people for it. When you reach out to somebody, people respond as though some people act like, yeah, I didn't need that. And some people are really like, thank you. And when somebody, something happens to you, they're like the first one there to help you. And you never thought they would do that. But you realize that because you helped them when they needed help. It feels fantastic when you stick up for people and you realize that it's a part of life that you need to be nice to people because when you get older, there's going to be a lot of people and you're going to need help sometime in your life. You're not going to go through life easy. There's always challenges and risks you have to take, and you always need somebody there to help you. And you feel fantastic when you help them. In school, people don't know what it means to respect people. They take each other's belongings, and they just don't respect other people. And they should, because 
I'm sure they wouldn't like it if somebody disrespected their belongings and stuff, so. Before I started really caring about people, I did make fun of people, and I treated them like they were nothing, and I just, every time I would see them, I would just like say something to them, and I knew it made them feel bad, and I did it to make people laugh, but that's not the right thing to do. How did you feel? It made me feel like horrible because I knew it wasn't the right thing, but I did it anyway just so people would laugh and think I was cool. Five stars helped me to love my life because I can go anywhere and people will be like, hey, I know you're from Five Star and didn't you help that kid out the other day? That was really cool. And it feels great when people notice that you've helped people out and they're going to call on you when they need help and you're going to have to be there to help them. There's still a lot of things I do need to work on to have a better five-star life, but and most of it is just I need to just let it go. When people say stuff, just let it go and just tell them that it's not the right thing to do. It's kind of hard for me to still do that because just the way people act, but I think it'll get easier as it goes just to tell people that it's not right. Don't do that. I'm Marquis Farler and I went to Lincoln Junior High.